Uh, hi all. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about how one can find an uh, instrument in the uh, in the in the market where you can define your own risk and also the return. So as we all know that when you increase your risk, your return will be higher. But there are not many straightforward uh, instruments or, or or things that you are aware where you can systematically increase the risk and systematically increase your return. Right. So one of the ways is to uh, go for options. So I'll show you uh, step by step here. So suppose right now I'm looking at uh, Google and uh, I'm looking at the option chain. So you can go to the Google Finance and look for the option chain. And uh, I'll set uh, the option to expire to be uh, Jan uh, 2017. So that's uh, so right now it's November uh, 2015. So that's a long time ahead. So now if you look uh, here, these are the call options. So I'll, I'll skip the call option and I look at the put options. So now you can see that uh, someone is uh, willing to give me um, uh, around $1. So you can say $1.2. Uh, if I give them the insurance assurance that I'm going to buy this stock from them at $300. So if you ask me today, the Google Google is uh, right now at 733, right? So it's not very likely for uh, it to go to 300, right? So if it's not likely to go to 300, then uh, the risk is very, very low. It's maybe like there's one person chance that it will go to 300. Even if the recession comes in, it may not go to 300. So the risk is very low. I, and in that case, I'm going to get around one dollar or something right so my my return will be around one dollar so uh, keep in mind this is not one dollar so when you sell one contract you multiply this by hundred so you're gonna get around hundred something dollars for you uh, how, and what's gonna be my uh, uh, the margin like I need to keep some security with my broker because I am giving a commitment so I need to keep the money to gain the uh, trust that um, I, I will be able to buy at 300 so that margin varies from broker to broker but uh, uh, it could be 10 percent 15 percent or sometimes 25 percent of the price uh, of the underlying price so that is 300 so if there is a 15 percent margin requirement so uh, in this case you will be looking at uh, uh, 30,000 into 15 percent so that's for forty five hundred dollars so for forty five hundred dollars uh, you can get hundred dollars return but if you want to increase the risk, uh, you can further go here and then you can look at $500. So if I'm looking for $500, someone is willing to pay me uh, $12 for this, right? So now my risk is uh, much uh, higher and uh, my rate of returns are also much higher. So let me show this in uh, Excel to you. So, so let me copy this here uh, and then uh, go to an Excel sheet. And this is the Excel sheet. Uh, let me zoom it up and I'll paste that information here. So let me have to copy that again. And that's here, right? So now I will delete or, or these are because there is a spread here. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to take an average of the spread. And I'll do that for all of them. And once I have the average, I'm gonna copy and paste special and say values. And this is okay. And I'm gonna delete all these things, right? So now, now this is the, uh, this is my uh, return. So this is the uh, premium. And this is the underlying price. So I'll call it as K. So uh so the uh, the margin requirement or the money you have to keep with the broker varies but right now i'm just assuming it to be 15 percent and uh, i'll say 0.15 into 290 so that's my margin requirement so now i can i can drag it down until here now what i'll, I'll say is so now if i look at the rate of return that will be equal to this divided by so now this is my rate of return and I can multiply the, this by 100 to get a percentage. Yep. 
this is two percent and now if I go down so now you can see that you have this uh, rate of return uh, this uh, expires after 1.25 years so you can have a rate of uh, return this way uh, if the margin uh, is 15 percent if the margin is higher this percentage going to decrease but this is your rate of return uh, and then this rate of return is increasing uh, but as you are willing to take more risk so if you're willing to uh, commit for uh, 450 then your rate of return gonna be 10 percent and that's pretty high and it's not very likely for it to go to 450 uh, again i'm using 15 percent uh, if i use uh, the margin to be uh, 25 then that will make a whole lot of difference so now you can see that uh, for 450 now it's only 6% but that's still not a very bad uh, return uh, but keep in mind that uh, uh, if you are doing so let me uh, if, if you are using this method uh, if somehow the stock goes down you're gonna lose a lot of money so you should be prepared to buy at that price so 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 in, in other words so suppose if you have a uh, uh, three hundred thirty thousand dollars with you right so you if you have three thirty thousand dollars then you are sure that you can buy the stock if it goes to thirty three three hundred right so so your actual uh in in your mind you have to keep this to make hundred percent safe but broker is only asking you for uh, this much money so this into hundred so seventy five hundred so the rate of return we are calculating here is 7500 but here we are assuming that the stock will not go below but if you are willing to not worry about your principal and say that okay if it goes to 300 i am ready to lose the money then this is equivalent to suppose uh, if you are giving money to some person to borrow right so there are always some chances that this person is not going to return you the money so in that case your whole thing will go away right so that's the, if you if you consider that way then you can consider your rate of your return on this price but if you want to play 100% safe and make sure that you have the money to buy the stock if it goes to 300 then you have to use this uh, uh, as, as your uh, principle so you have to keep that in mind but uh, still I've seen a lot of people doing this uh, this is uh, called uh, selling naked puts so this is how you uh, make uh, 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 investments right um, another way to save yourself from this is uh, uh, instead of selling naked put you buy uh, another uh, put so for example if I sell so now I will say that so sell uh, 300 and uh, buy 290 put so if you do that then you are safe if it goes below 290 so in that case what's what's your risk so in that case your risk will be 300 minus 290 so this is the risk you are putting for putting in right so I, i'll say that this is the principle you invest and now your return is here so this is your return so the return will be equal to uh so no no the return will not be this now so the return uh, will be equal to because you uh, because you uh, sold this one but you bought this one so your return will be lower so your return is this much but your uh, in this case uh, um, your uh, premium requirement uh, your principal requirement is also less it's not uh, uh, that high right so now what will happen so if you calculate rate of return that will be equal to this into 100 divided by this so this is your rate of return so in this case you are more safe so this is called rate of return so now if i keep doing this so you can say that you can see that i can go until here and now you can see that your principle is always same but the more risk you take okay i got a negative values here this is because uh, uh, the prices are not well defined here because a lot of spread so i can just 
ignore this part or, or maybe maybe this part and we can just look into the higher end range so now you can see here that if you invest uh, in a spread between 430 and 440 you need to spend ten dollars and you're gonna get 50 cents out of it so that's a five dollar uh, price so five percent return and same thing if you invest uh, in higher end higher risky uh, stocks for example if you spend uh, between 500 and 490 then you're gonna get 11 uh, 1.1 uh, dollar or 11 percent return again if the stock goes below 490 if it goes to 480 in the end you're gonna lose all your 10 dollars so again you're gonna lose all your principles but uh, I, I hope that uh, this makes sense that this is one of the way you can find uh, uh, a way to invest uh, with a given risk so you are your own boss you can select what kind of risk you want to take and how much return do you want so you can do that using this strategy so i hope uh, this video helped and if you have any questions feel free to uh, put a comment or also go to our facebook page and leave a comment so i'll i'll see you later then thank you